Chris? Chris, Cody. Cody. So, Cody, my man, what are we looking at right here? All right, so what I have with me here are two units of Spike. And Spike is an iPhone keyboard. It does not use Bluetooth. It uses a proprietary type smart technology that we patented and developed over the last two, uh, last two, <clears throat> two and a half years. And we were on Kickstarter um, last June. We were actually at the CEA show in New oh, York yeah? where we Very nice. introduced our Kickstarter campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, now we're here to show off the finished product. So we're running about four months late on our Kickstarter campaign. Which oh, is, you know, well, To be expected yeah. with the Kickstarter project, you know, <laughs> we wish it was a little faster. Sure. Um, but we're here to show off our, our first production quality retail units. I mean, mm -hmm. these are hot off the presses. Oh, yeah. Um, this is one of the one of ten. And so we're getting the next 2,000 in, in about three weeks. We're ready Very to neat. start shipping it off. So for people who haven't, who haven't been tracking your, your Kickstarter campaign, how exactly does the Spike case slash keyboard work? Okay, so the mm -hmm. technology we developed is a capacitive technology. Um, you can see here, uh, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's no moving parts on the screen. Uh, there's no power. It's totally power neutral. Mm. It, it acts as a kind of uh, antenna. It's analogous to an antenna. So it interacts with the capacitive screen directly. It allows you to do fun things like open your phone by swiping the actual keys on the keyboard. Because what you're doing is you're, you're kind of touching the screen below it, um, even though you're not. So that's, that's kind of the beauty and the genius in, in the technology. Um, and we want to give people the BlackBerry feel you know, kind of the the ability to have a tactile feedback when you type on a keyboard. So it's interesting you mention that because even BlackBerry is kind of shifting away from the physical keyboard. Right, and and there's not a lot of happy customers about that. You know, I mean, <laughs> people people who are BlackBerry users or or keyboard users. I mean, sure, they want a keyboard. It, I, most people with iPhones, what are you going to do when you get an email? I mean, you're going to wait till you get home and email and reply yeah, back. fair enough. Otherwise, it's riddled with uh, errors and <laughs> autocorrect is. You know, there's a reason why there's a website. Damn you, auto, damn you, autocorrect. Exactly. You know? I gotta say, really quick, one of my one of the favorite things that I've just discovered about the Spike case yeah. is that it actually it, it looks a bit cumbersome like this because the keyboard kind of rises over the face of the, right. the device, but it actually just kind of folds and uh, goes flush right into the yeah, back of the case. Exactly. So it's actually really um, rather nice. Yeah, I, you know, it, it it does have that kind of bulkier appearance because of that that exactly what you say the keyboard sits on top. Right. Um, but we it's actually it's at the same spec as most you know sixty percent of the cases out there. It's about at its at its thickest point, it's about four millimeters, and it's about mostly two millimeters around the side. And this is the iPhone 5 version. This is actually much slimmer. This is a prototype. Very cool. Um, so we've actually slimmed the design down uh, even further than on on the iPhone 4. Awesome. So Cody, uh, for people who haven't backed the campaign, uh, when and where can they get these? Um, so we uh, we finished the Kickstarter campaign in August, and we have a pre-sale website at spike.solomatrixinc.com. Um, we're also heading to the retail channel in, in just about a month. Awesome. So you should be able to see us on the stores uh, in February. One parting question for you. Let's of talk course. price. What are we looking at? Uh, MSRP of $50. $50. $49.95. Cody, thank you so much, you. man. Thank you. This is